like we were working on today in class, we want to make sure we're getting it over either 10 or 100, so you're going to have to be thinking about what you want to multiply it by to get it over 10 or 100. I'm looking at 4 fifths, and we want to subtract or change it to something over 10. And in this case, we're going to multiply it by 2 over 2. I'm just going to write it off to the side a little bit. 5 times 2 would equal this 10. 4 times 2 would equal 8, so our, we need 8 tenths, and then it is shading in these bars. We want 8 tenths of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, my smart board's a little off here, and 8. 8 tenths of them should be shaded. The next one, you've got 3 fourths, and you need to multiply that by something, or some of you might be even saying, hey, 1 fourth, that's like one quarter of a dollar. One fourth is the same as one quarter. Or in, oh funny, yours, my book says uh, three fourths, yours says one fourth. We're going with yours. If yours is one fourth, yes, that's the same as 25 cents. Or if you want the fraction way, you can multiply it by 25 over 25. Four times 25 is 100. One times 25 will be 25. And we can write that as 25 hundredths. The decimal's already there for you. And then you need to shade in 25 hundredths. So you need to shade in two of these. There's your two tenths. And then your five hundredths. So you need the little five of these little boxes. Two, three, four, five. 25 hundredths for that one. Uh, the next one is five twenty-fifths on that one. Uh, I gotta stop looking at my book and just look at this sheet. 25 times 4 again is what we want. Well, I guess the other one was 4 times 25. Now we've got 25 times 4 is 100, and uh, 25 times 5 is that one? No, I'm at 4 times 5, sorry. 4 times 5 is 20. So I want 0.2 or 0.20, 2 tenths or 20 hundredths. So that means I need two of these if I'm going to leave it at two tenths. Well, either way, two tenths is the same as twenty hundredths. So two whole boxes on that one. The next one, one twenty-fifth. We're going to do the same thing. Four over four for this one. Twenty-five times four is a hundred. One times four is four. So we have four hundredths. If I write it like this. I've actually got four tenths. That's not what I want. I want four hundredths. So if you remember, you need to put that zero in there. Point zero four. And since it's four hundredths, you only want four little boxes. It doesn't matter which ones you shade as long as you've got four. So you can shade them somewhere else if you want to. My smart board is driving me nuts today. So there should be just four, not five, as mine is starting to show here. 4 fiftieths on this one, you're going to want to multiply it by 2 over 2. 50 times 2 is 100. 4 times 2 is 8. And I can write out 2 over 2 if I need to. Sometimes you can just, most of the time, you're just going to do this mentally. But for this, we'll do it the, the, right, the long way. 8 hundredths, don't write point 8, that's 8 tenths. We want it to be 8 hundredths, so you need that 0 in there. And 8 boxes, you can start anywhere you like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So hopefully, I'm going to try and be a little bit more accurate here. Eight hundredths on that one. This one is already filled in for you, and you need to figure out how much of it is filled in. I'm thinking it's 50, but we can count. Here's 10. All right, so it looks like half. filled in, then that's the same as half of it filled in. Next one. <coughs> next one is done for us. Or starting there, I'm sorry. Next one. It says write the number below as a decimal and then use the letter to mark the decimal on the number line. I love this. This is kind of what we were working on today. We were really having trouble with that number line one, so glad that, there, that we're working on that. So first thing we need to do is to write each number as a decimal. Uh, three fourths, we can multiply it by 25 over 25. 
So we get it over 100, and we would get uh, 3 times 25 would be 75, so we would get 75 hundredths. On this one, it's over 10, so we need to multiply it by 10 over 10. 10 times 10 is 100, 10 times 3 is 30. So we have 30 hundredths or 3 tenths, however you want it to say it. 4 fifths, again, we need to change that to something over 10 or 100. Oh, this one we didn't need to multiply at all, it was already over 10. One of those. <laughs> so there is so easy, it's tricky, just like this morning when we were working on it. All right, this one though, we can just multiply by 2 over 2. Save us some time. We, do, we don't always have to be over 100, we can be in the tens. Uh, 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4, so in that case, we've got 4 tenths on that one. 27 hundredths. It's already done for us, we don't have to do any multiplying. 11 25ths, we need to do some multiplying on this one by 4 over 4. 11 times 4 is 44. So we've got 44 hundredths here. Next one, we're probably going to multiply by 2 over 2. 50 times 2 is 100. 17 times 2. I don't know my 17s facts. I'm just going to add it twice. 34. I should probably finish it, otherwise you'll tell me. It's not done. 34 hundredths. This one's an improper fraction, but remember, don't let that don't let that bother you. Just solve it the way you know how to solve it, and we'll worry about making it proper later if we need to. I'm just going to erase some of the side multiplication here. Uh, six fifths. Again, we can just multiply it by two over two. Five times two is ten. Two times six is twelve. So we have uh, twelve hundredths on that one, even though it feels well. Wait a minute, do we though? We don't really have 12 hundredths, we have 12 tenths. Because when we did five times two, it's 10. So since it is an improper fraction, when we change it to a decimal, now we want our last digit, the two, to be in the tenths place. So we actually have one and two tenths on that one. Hopefully you're catching on that there's a period right there, one and two tenths. This one, we've got our whole number one already. We can carry it over. Be careful though, because if it's anything like the last one, we might need to change that one, but I think we'll be okay. And then we look at 5 fiftieths. We're gonna just take our fraction 5 fiftieths and multiply it by two over two. And 50 times two is 100, five times two is 10. So we have 10 hundredths, which is the same as one tenth. So we have one and one tenth on that one for an answer. All right, now we have to place them on the number line. So I'm gonna do a little erasing down here so I've got plenty of room to put all of my, all of my work. All right. Before we do our number line, this one over here is kind of bugging me because I'm looking and thinking, these shouldn't both be filled, the corner one. So I think we're going to have to actually count each little square just to be sure. So it's kind of, I think it's, I don't think we got quite what we want here. So you can count every single little square. 10, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. And I was off. It just didn't look quite right. because I didn't think both of those corners should be stated. And if that's 55, then this would be 55 hundredths. Thanks for bearing with me on that. It was kind of bugging me. All right, so down here. Our first one is A, and it is 0.75. Here's a 0.7. Here's a 0.8. We want it to go right in the middle. And remember, it's important to be in the exact right spot. 0.75. And then our next one, 0.30 is the same as 0.3. It can't be next to 0.3. It's got to be right on 0.3. Don't go to the side of it because that's not correct. And that one was letter B. And this one, I think I better change it. I wrote 0.75, but that was actually needing to be a letter A. Uh, C was 0.4. Again, we need to be right on. 27 hundredths. 27 hundredths is actually smaller, so we're going the other way. Even though it's got two digits.
digits, remember, two in the tens place makes it smaller. So 27 hundredths is going to be kind of close to three, so it's going to be between 25 and 30. And my lines get so big in here because of my marker. But here's B. Next we've got E, which is 11 25ths, or oh, we changed it to four, 44 hundredths. Here's our four. We want to be really close to the five, the 45 hundredths, but not quite on. That was A, B, C, A, B, C, D, that must have been an E. F, <coughs> what's that, 34 hundredths? 34 hundredths, going to be over in this area, a little bit small, a little bit less than 35 hundredths. 34 hundredths, that's going to be an F. And then we've got G at 